Welcome back. So now that we have a console up and running and we have a user creator, let's try and get this into our Angular 2 setup. And of course, there's an Angular 2 uh, plugin we can use, right? Angular Fire 2. That's the one we're going to use now to actually start communicating with Firebase. So what we're going to do is install Angular 2 Fire into our system and use this setup they have right here. Um, and of course, as always, the link is up here if you want to see where you where you have to go and um, go down to the install and what I'm pretty much just going to do is I'm going to npm install both the Firebase which is the JavaScript package for Firebase and then the Angular to Fire which kind of uses some specific commands inside Angular 2. So we need both. So I'll just paste these in and the desktop save adds it to the package JSON as always and let's just let that install and while it does let's have a look at what it actually takes to use it. But we're not going to use it yet. Instead, we're going to follow the installation and setup guide down here. And again, it runs over the entire setup of actually building a new CLI from scratch. We already have all of that. We already created a new project, so I just keep going down. This is what we just did. And now we need to add the modules, of course, just like we always would do with something new. And here's the angle of fire module that we're going to add. So I'm going into my app module setup here and in there I'm going to add a new third party called Angular Fire Module. Now that is available now because the installation here just ended. So now I actually have this module called Angular Fire available. So that was the first step. This one, will I'll show you that in a second before we continue. I'll just add it here right below the import as a constant right here. So notice there's this Firebase config. That's pretty much just a configuration set from Firebase that we're going to grab in a second. The last thing we need to do is we need to, in the imports, use that config file to actually initialize the Firebase app. So now we also, just like we did with all the other ones, the routes, the materials, we need to, in the imports, add the module that can initialize this entire Firebase setup for us. So now Firebase is actually ready to use. All we need is to get all of these informations from the Firebase account. And um, I'm going to do that now. And of course, I'm going to show you my console information here. Now, don't share this on GitHub. This is secret stuff for you. If you want to make a production-ready application, you wouldn't share this. But I'm going to share you mine because I don't care. I'm going to destroy it later anyway, and you might not have access to mine if you're using my GitHub setup right now because it will be killed when the videos are over because, well, I don't want to share these with you guys for a real production application. But the config information is in here, and how did I get there? You go to authentication here under your specific Firebase app we just built last time and you press web setup over here. So you just grab all the information here inside the config part, not the everything because we already have this in the Angular 2 setup. We just need these pieces of information. So just copy API, auth domain, database, URL, storage, bucket, etc. I just copy it and I go into my application and I find this setup right here, the export Firebase config we did a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. And there I just add all of this in. And now I actually have access to my Firebase directly from my application. And I'll show you that in the next couple of lessons, but I think this is enough. Now your Firebase is installed and ready to run. So that was all it took to kind of get access to Firebase. Now, of course, we need to start using Firebase and we'll do that in the next couple of lessons. So see you the next time where we'll actually start using our Firebase.